the topic that we are going to see now is file system the file system with respect to the operating system now see I suggest all the students that it could be better you have a formula book where you can note down these formulas so that it will be easy for you at the time of revision the students should have a separate theory book and the formula book in formula book we are having the formulas which are useful for the numericals the first formula that we are having is a transfer time transfer time for this disk is sector size upon transfer rate in bytes per second transfer time is equals to sector size upon transfer rate in bytes per second then the latency time or average rotation time is equals to r upon 2 where r is the rotation rate in rpm or we can say that if in one second this many number of rotations can be done then in r second how many rotations will be done then effective data transfer rate in bytes per second is equals to one track size upon rotation rate effective data transfer rate in bytes per second is equals to one track size upon rotation rate effective access time to transfer the data to or from the disk is equals to seek time plus transfer time plus latency time that is nothing but a rotation time plus controller time which is the optional one okay so these three are the compulsory whereas the controller time is the optional so effective access time to transfer the data to or from this is equals to seek time, tra uh, time tra transfer time latency time and controller time the number of entries in a file allocation table is equals to capacity of disk upon database size in bytes data block size sorry this is a block b stands for block so these are the some formulas that are useful for a file system these are not all formulas but what formulas are important or what on which we are going to see the numerical based in that's why we have noted this much formulas transfer time latency time or average rotation time effective data transfer rate effective access time to transfer the data to or from the disk and the number of entries in a pad now the first question that we are going to see is from gate 2015 paper 1 in question the seek time is given 4 millisecond Rotation speed in RPM is given that is 1000 RPM. Number of sectors is equal to 600 per track. Each sector stores 512 bytes. Number of sectors in a file is 200,000. Average rotation la latency for accessing each sector in a is half of the time for one complete rotation. Therefore, we have to find out the total time needed to read entire file. The total time needed to read entire file is nothing but a combination of seek time plus transfer time plus rotation latency so the sum of these three values seek time transfer time and the rotation time will give you the total time needed to read an entire file now seek time is already given so we don't need to find out the seek time what we have to find out is the transfer time and rotation time to find out rotation time rotation speed is given so first we will try to find out the rotation time so for rotation time what they have given is the speed so therefore the latency we know that the rotation time or a rotation latency is equals to r by 2 okay now here what they are saying is latency for accessing each sector is half of the time for a one complete rotation so this rotation time is equals to half of the time for one complete rotation the time needed for one complete rotation okay so rotation time is equals to the time needed for one complete rotation divided by 2 now we have to find out this r from this rotation speed so in 60 second that is in one minute 1000 rotations has been done therefore in one second how many rotations will be done in 60 second 1000 rotations will be done therefore in one second how many rotations has to be done that is nothing but capital R here therefore capital R is equals to 60 upon 1000 that is nothing but a 60 6 into 10 to the power 
this value is 10,000 sorry not 1000 10,000 okay so 10 to the power minus 3 that is 6 millisecond here we have to remember 10 to the power minus 3 milli 10 to the power minus 6 micro and 10 to the power minus 9 nano so 10 to the power minus 3 to millisecond therefore rotation latency is equals to 6 by 2 millisecond that is 3 millisecond so second value we have find out that is rotation time next value we have to find out is the transfer time the formula for a transfer time is sector sign upon transfer rate in a byte now see sector size is uh, given sector size we can find out number of sectors next we have to find out this transfer time that is nothing but a effective data transfer rate so one track size upon rotation rate so it become therefore it becomes 512 into 600 as there are 512 bytes in each sector and there are total 600 sector per track therefore one track size is equals to this much and divided by rotation time one track size upon rotation rate rotation rate is here 6 okay rotation latency is 3 rotation rate is 6 rotation speed is this much speed is different the rate is different and time is different so therefore the value comes over here is around 20 millisecond if we do this calculation 600 so 512 that is nothing but 512 zero, 00 bytes per millisecond then as they have given we have number of sectors in a file is equals to 2000 we have to find out it for a 2000 file so 2000 number of sector each is having 512 bytes of size and we need a transfer rate of 15200 okay we what we are finding is transfer time for transfer time what we needed is transfer rate so first we have find out the transfer rate okay after finding transfer rate now we are finding the transfer time transfer time is equals to sector size how many sectors are there 2000 sectors are there each of 512 bytes therefore 2000 into 51 byte divided by transfer rate which is 512 therefore the value final comes is 20 millisecond so now transfer time is also 5 so this is for 2000 sectors okay now what that we found is rotation time is for one sector only not for 2000 so we have to multiply it with 2000 so after multiplying it with 2000 we will get 600,000 millisecond similarly for seek time it is for a one seek there are 2000 sectors so for each sector we need a seek therefore 2000 into 4 so 2000 into 4 that is 8000 millisecond so 8000 millisecond 6000 millisecond and 20 millisecond we have to sum up this so 8000 plus 6000 plus 20 millisecond that is 14020 millisecond so this is our final answer again see what we have done seek time is directly given then rotation speed is given in rpm then number of sectors is given that is 600 per track each sector stores 512 of bytes number of sectors in file is 2000 average rotation latency for accessing each sector is half of the time for a one complete rotation the total time needed to read the entire file is equals to how much therefore the total time needed to read the entire file is the seek time plus transfer time plus rotation time seek time is directly given for a single seek then we have find out the rotation time rotation time is equals to they have given r by 2 that is half of the rotation time for a complete rotation then for a rotation time complete r we are given the rotation speed then it is given in rpm one minute is equivalent to 60 second so in 60 second it is performing 
10,000 rotation. Therefore, in one second, how much rotation will be performed? Therefore, capital R is equal to 60 upon 10,000. That is nothing but 6 into 10 to the power minus 3. That is 6 millisecond. Therefore, R by 2 is equal to 6 by 2. That is 3 millisecond. Then, we have to find out the transfer time. For transfer time, we are having formula sector size upon transfer rate. So, first we will find out the transfer rate. Transfer rate is equal to 1 track size upon rotation rate. Track size is equal to number of sectors into bytes. Therefore, 600 into 512 divided by 6. That is 51200 bytes per millisecond. Now, transfer time is equal to 1 sector size upon transfer rate. 1 sector is equal to Therefore, we are having 2000 sector. Therefore, 2000 sector into 512 divided by 5100, which is 20 millisecond. Lastly, we have to sum up all these values and the final answer is 14020 millisecond. Ten to the power point twelve four millisecond. Now, what we have to do is we have to find out the sec time into two is equals two into rotation latency. Therefore, if the rotation latency is two into ten to the power minus three, that is two millisecond, the sec time will going to be four millisecond. And similarly, if the average transfer time is equals to this, therefore controller time is equals to 10 into this one therefore it is going to be 0 0.1 if we sum all this value that is this 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 therefore 4 plus 2 plus 10 to point 24 into 10 to the power minus 3 plus 0 0.1 it is going to be 6.1 millisecond because this is in a microsecond format so 6.1 millisecond okay again see what we have done for average rotation time r upon 2 r is in rpm so we have to convert it in a minutes therefore 1500 sorry R rpm is in a minutes form we have to convert it in a second form so 1500 upon 2 into 60 it becomes 2 millisecond then average transfer time is equals to 512 upon 15 into 10 to the power 6 is equals to 10.24 microsecond then seek time is equal to twice the average rotation latency therefore 4 millisecond control time is the 10 times of the transfer average transfer time therefore it becomes 0.1 when we sum up we get the answer 6.1 millisecond next question is from gate 2014 paper 2 the file allocation table overhead is 4 bytes the capacity of a disk is 100 into 10 to the power 6 bytes and data block size is equal to 10 to the power 3 bytes. What will be the maximum size of a file in unit? Now see, the maximum si file size is given by the number of uh, entries in the file table size. What we have to store on the disk is file as well as the file allocation table. So we have to uh, subtract or reduce the file allocation table size from the disk capacity then we are going to get the number of file size that how much maximum size of file we can store for example if this is a disk this much size is given for this file equation table so remaining space will be given for the file so first we are find out how many number of entries are there in a file location table from that we will find out the total size of a file location table fat and from that we will find out the size of a file that can be stored onto the disk so first we have to find out the number of entries that can be stored onto the fat therefore we know the formula the number of entries in fat is given by disk capacity upon block size Disk capacity, we know that disk capacity is given by 100 into 10 to the power 6 bytes. And the data block size is 10 to the power 3 
bytes both are in bytes format so therefore 10 to the power 5 bytes this is the number of entries in file allocation table now fat is having overhead also so with this number of entries we have to store overhead so therefore the total size of fat become 10 to the power 5 into 4 bytes that is 0 0.6 into 10 to the power 6 bytes so this is the total size of a fat now the file size that we can store is we have to subtract this fat size from the disk capacity therefore the disk capacity is 100 into 10 to the power 6 minus we have to subtract 0 0.4 into 10 to the power 6 this fat size we have to subtract from the disk capacity and what is remaining is given for the file storage therefore it becomes 99.6 into 10 to the power 6 bytes or we can say 99.6 into yes this will be the final answer so this much size of file we can store onto the disk again see what is that given file allocation table overhead is of 4 bytes maximum size of a file in units 10 to the power 6 bytes we have to find out capacity of a disk is given if there is no file allocation table or if there is no file allocation table overhead the maximum size of a file that can be stored is equals to disk size but as here we are storing this file allocation table we have to subtract that size from the total capacity of a disk therefore to find out the file allocation table size what we have to find out is how many number of entries are there in a file allocation table so the number of entries in a file allocation table is given by the disk capacity and the divided by block size so these are the number of entries into the fat after that the fat overhead is 4 byte therefore we have to multiply this with 4 byte and this much space we have to delete or reduce from the total size of a disk so the final answer is 99.6 into 10 to the power 6 bytes